Howdy Brewers. Well, I, I'm not sure if you remember my um, easy golden ale or cheap golden ale. I'm going to try that again this time, but instead of Amarillo hops, I'm going to try one of my favourites, which is Simcoe hops. And we're also going to increase the amount of hops. Instead of doing 15 grams per litre, uh, sorry, 15 grams for the batch, you're going to do going to do 25 grams um, for the flavour edition and the flame out edition. Couldn't find the, the really cheap lager so going with the Cooper's, uh, sorry the really cheap draft and so having to, get, having to use the Cooper's draft. We've got the harvested New England IPA yeast again and I, I can't remember if I used a brew enhancer last time or not but I'm going to sort of make my own up, which will be, I'm going to, I'm going to use 600 grams of dextrose again, and half a kilo of dry malt extract. But, I don't, I'm not sure if you remember, it, um, I did a tasting, I did a side-by-side -side with a commercial pale ale, or Amarillo pale ale, and it had crystal malt in it. So that's, oh, I'll take you back right now, Welcome forward. Here are the crystal malts that are going to use, going to use in this brew. I didn't have any medium crystal, so I'm going to go for. Uh, I've got 150 grams of light crystal, and I'm using 150 grams of dark crystal. See what we get. Um, that's all I've got um, on hand in terms of crystal malt, and we'll see if we can get generate a colour and a flavour that was similar to that Spearhead Pale Ale, although um, we'll be using Simcoe hops. But we'll steep this overnight and we'll come back to the brew day. So I tried my best to make, I didn't have any medium crystal, or crystal 60, as is the common, another common way people say medium crystal. So I used some light crystal and dark crystal, 150 grams of each, steeped it overnight, and it's sitting here, so I'll bring that to the boil. In I did it in three liters of water, so I'll I'll um, bring that to the boil. Add my 25 grams of Simcoe hops at the start of the boil. Boil for 15 minutes, and then I'll throw in another 25 grams and leave it steep for 15 minutes before we mix up our brew. And hopefully we get that um, that sort of nice crystal malt flavors. I'm sure we will. Um, nice crystal malt flavours that we got from the commercial beer with the Amarillo Pale Ale. I should also point out why I'm using 600 grams of dextrose. When you're using dry malt extract it's not as fermentable um, as dextrose and also crystal malt is not fermentable so in order to try and get a lower gravity, a little bit lower gravity, try and get a bit more dryness in the beer because we don't want it to be too sweet. Uh, that's why I'm adding the 600 grams of dextrose. But I don't want to add too much because I don't want the alcohol content too high. All right, um, I'm going to bring this. Go, I'm going to bring this mm -hmm. crystal malt to the boil. Well, the, the extracted juices and sugars from the crystal malt. I've thrown the malt away, it's got everything I need out of it. I'll get this to the boil and then we'll get on to the brew day. Alright. We've got a rolling boil happening. In go the 25 grams of the amazing smelling Simcoe hops. If you've never brewed with them, give them a try. The citrus and pine mix of the Simcoe hops for me are just unmatched. To me they, they give the... I like the pine flavours in hops, I also like citrus and that is a real... they're a really balanced hop to give those flavours. So anyway the point is we'll boil these for 15 minutes and then we'll throw the other 25 grams in and steep those for 15 minutes. Okay, boil's all done. Throw in the last 
25 grams of Simcoe and we'll leave that for another 15 minutes before we start mixing up the beer. Just while we're waiting for the Simcoe hops to steep, we'll add our other ingredients. Alright, it's been 15 minutes. The word will flow through that and the smell coming off that is just amazing. If you've never if you've never steeped some hops or boiled some hops in even if you just buy a simple half kilo bag or box of dry malt extract boil it up in a couple of litres of water and by that I mean two or three litres just for five minutes or just bring it to the boil and then throw the hops in and steep it for ten minutes you'll just be amazed at the smell that comes off it made a small mess between my feet not sure what happened there gotta learn how to pour better out of a, out of a uh, pot anyway we'll just leave that drain for a few minutes and I'll just do a bit of clean up That was just my yeast. I was trying to um, just see if I could get it activated a little bit sitting in a... This was the container I poured the dextrose in. And there was a little bit of dextrose left over so I thought I'd throw the yeast in. And when you saw the jar it probably looked like I had a lot of yeast in there. That was also deliberate um, to try and get a lower gravity as well, more yeast means they probably they consume a little bit more sugar and I need it, need it to drop by a couple of points the target is hopefully going to be around 10.09 uh, or 10.10 All right. I'm at 21 litres I'm just going to put the lid on and put it in the fermentation fridge ferment at 20 degrees until it's finished and another easy brew day see you at tasting for this one Cheers.